height, how to name this complex where both the cation and the anion are complexes. See, when you name the cationic complex, as usual, you have to mention the names of the ligands in the alphabetic order along suggesting their numbers also. Then express the name of the metal without any modification like cobalt, chromium, iron, silver, etc. Never like chromate, sil um, uh, argentate, etc. So it will, its a name will end as cobalt and you have to show its oxidation state in Roman letters. Then the anion's name. Then this element the modified way like cobaltate, chromate, nickelate like that okay and you should leave a space only here means between the cationic name and the anionic name never ever in between the names of the ligands even though I might have left some space but in reality you are not supposed to leave any space okay so let's uh, another problem here is to determine the charge See, when both are, uh, the charges of both are unknown, in many cases there, are, there can be more than one possibility. Okay, here as a trial, see here the number three ions, cations are there. And uh, suppose uh, it is having, each, each complex ion is having plus one charge. So, three such plus one cation must be compensated by three minus charges. In that case, it is an approximation. I take this to have three minus. This as a whole is three plus. Okay, as a whole is three plus. So the molecule as a whole is neutralized. Now, we have to think about the charge of cobalt here. See, there are two chloride, each with the my, my one minus charge. So suppose each chlorine is having minus 1, then minus 2. So this cobalt must be plus 3. Okay. Plus 3 cancelled by 2 minus here. So that each cation becomes plus 1. Each cation is plus 1. 3 such cation makes the total charge plus 3. 3 such cation makes the total cationic charge plus 3. Here, then, uh, here it is minus 3. We know every cyanide is having minus 1. So minus 1 into 6 is minus 3. So this cancels 3 charges means this also having plus 3. This is the way we come to the this, uh, des deciding of the charges of the cation and anion. Okay, that part is over. Another thing you have to remember, we will never include this 3 in the naming. Because that is even otherwise, even without mentioning this number we will be able to write the formula for that reason the number of ions are never mentioned while you name okay except the number of ligands in the complex okay now we will try to know now it is easy see tetraamine tetraamine dichlorido cobalt 3 cationic charge 3 space hexacyanido chromate again 3. So its a complete name is tetraamine dichlorido cobalt 3 hexacyanido chromate 3. Okay. Now to remember this kind of compounds can bring out coordinate isomerism where ligands are mutually exchanged. Ligands can be mutually exchanged so that it can exhibit coordinate isomerism. Okay. Okay.